There is a story to be told about a man who was born in the land called Tanganyika. This man had so much love for the soil that he came from. He saw more success and a bright future compared to what others saw. He saw that Tanganyikans and Africans can take a leap on leading themselves without the help of the other man. This man was never satisfied with the independence of just one nation in Africa. Africa, Africa is out of interest, of interest. When you have, when we are killing one another. He saw true independence when all of his neighbors had real freedom. This man didn't see the color of your skin. He neither cared where you came from or what tribe you are. He saw the real you. This man joined two young nations and formed one beautiful nation. He taught us to always show love to everyone from anywhere in the world. He taught us to always be understanding with everyone and always open our arms to visitors with a huge smile on our faces. And the most important of all, he taught us how to be the most peaceful land in Africa. It's now 21 years since we last heard from this man, but in the eyes of 60 million Tanzanians, we can still see him. Today we can stand tall and proud to be called Tanzanian because of this man. This is the story of the greatest man in Africa and in Tanzania, Julius Kambarage Nyerere. <laughs>